Hello, artist. Who doesn't love? Bubbles are so much fun. I'm going to teach you three different projects that we can do with bubbles or inspired by bubbles. First project is to draw bubbles as if you're blowing them from a bubble wand and then take a photo pretending like you're blowing them. The second project is to print colored bubbles onto a piece of paper. And the third project is to do a print from bubble wrap using washable markers. For the first project, you're going to need something to color with, like markers or crayons, and a pencil and a piece of paper. First, I drew my bubble wand with a pencil, and then I drew circles for bubbles. Bubbles can overlap. Sometimes it's hard to draw circles, so you can also find different things that are round to trace. Draw as many bubbles as you'd like, then color in your bubble wand however you want to color it, and outline it with black. I'm also going to outline all my bubbles with black and draw little areas on the bubbles to represent highlights. Then use whatever colors you like to color the bubble. Notice how I'm only coloring along the edge near the black outlines of the bubbles because bubbles are see-through. I'm using crayon for this, but you can also use colored pencil, marker, watercolor paint, basically any supplies that you have at home that are good for coloring. After you're done coloring it, then you're going to cut it out. Here's another example of a different shape bubble wand. This bubble wand I'm going to color with marker. Same concept as before, outline with black, draw your highlights, and then color along the edge of the bubble. Notice how I also colored along the edge of the bubble coming out of the wand. So it looks like it's the bubble juice coming out of the wand when you're blowing it. So now I'm just coloring all my bubbles just along the edge with different colors and then outlining it with black and then I will cut it out. When you cut it out, make sure you don't cut it directly on the line of the bubble wand Leave a little white space around it so it's strong enough for you to hold the paper to take a photo. Create the bubble print paper. You need dish soap, water, a straw, and also some food coloring and paper. Thicker paper works better, but printer paper will work as well. So today we're going to make some bubble paper where you print bubbles onto paper. So you're going to put some soapy water in a bowl or in a cup. I tried using small cups and I didn't think that they worked really well so I'm using something larger and it seemed to work a little bit better. All I did was squirt uh, a few squirts of dish soap into here. Um, it's green right now because I put a little bit of food coloring in it but um, that shouldn't print on the bubbles. We're going to add more food coloring and I will show you how. You can use printer paper. When you use printer paper, it's gonna get kind of wrinkly from being wet, so just put that someplace to dry and then you can put it under something heavy to uh, flatten. So, I put my hair back so that I can not get any ink in my hair or food dye. So blow a bunch of bubbles and then you're going to take some food coloring and you're going to drip it on. You kind of want to do this quickly because they're going to start to pop a little bit. You want to try to capture some ink droplets on the bubble. So I'm going to use some green and maybe some blue. And you can tell my bubbles are starting to pop a little bit, but you can see how the ink is getting caught in some of the bubbles. Oh, a bunch just popped. So I'm going to put some yellow on now because I'm trying to put all colors that blend together nicely. I think I'm going to blow a few more bubbles before I print. And let's see how this comes out. So I'm actually gonna print on the back of another project with some watercolor paper. So you might have some bubbles stuck on your paper. All you need to do is blow those off. So this is a really good outdoor project. So I'm gonna set this aside to dry, and if I like the way it looks, I'll leave it like that, or I can print it again when it dries.
For this project, you will need washable markers, paper, bubble wrap, and water and a paper towel or a spray bottle. So, if you want to draw something on your piece of paper, like a shape that you're gonna cut out later, you can do that now. I am going to draw a fish, very simple fish shape. All right, got my fish. Now, I'm going to color my bubble wrap. So do this. You can use a few different colors. You wanna make sure you color an area big enough for your design to fit on. So that should be big enough. So then you're gonna take your paper towel, dip it in the water, squeeze the water out, because you don't want too much water. You're gonna get your paper a little wet. I squeezed too much water out. You can also do this with a spray bottle if you have a spray bottle. Then you're gonna place this on top of your bubble wrap and rub it. I'm just using printer paper, but you can do this with watercolor paper or cardstock. There you go. Now I can cut this out and it'll be a cool fish that looks like it has different color bubbles all over it. That's it. I hope you have as much fun playing with bubbles as I did.